Number two then from the 2007 Higher Maths paper two, the exact values of angles questions, the addition formula and double angle formulas and little triangles here. First part, find the exact value of sine C plus D. Well, I've separated the triangles just so I can see them quite clearly and it asked for the exact value of the sine of C plus D. Well, let's finish off the triangles then. Right angle triangles, you can use Pythagoras to complete the sides. 1 squared and 2 squared, well, I'll put the working down, 1 squared and 2 squared is 1, plus 4, which is 5, so that must be root 5. 1 squared and 3 squared is 1 plus 9, which is 10, so that's root 10. And then it's just look up the front for the expansion of sine C plus D. Certainly don't put down sine C plus sine D, because that would be just totally wrong. And markless, of course. So you look up the front and you've got what? Sine C cos D plus cos C sine D. And then just pop them in from the triangles. The triangle containing C. Now the sine is the opposite one to the angle. Opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 1 upon root 5. The cosine is the adjacent one to the angle. But it's this angle I want. So the cosine of D will be adjacent to D over the hypotenuse, 3 over root 10. Plus the cosine of C, again that's adjacent, cosines are adjacent. Adjacent to C is 2 over the hypotenuse root 5. The sine of D, that's the angle without the D. That's this side here, the opposite side 1 over the hypotenuse, 1 over root 10. Both the denominators have got root 5 times root 10, so I'll just put that down once, and root 5 times root 10 is root 50. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2. Now root 50, that's a 25 times a 2. So root 50 is the same as 5 root 2. So what I've got here is 5 on top and 5 root 2 underneath, which means that sine c plus d equals 1 upon root 2. Now for part b. First of all, find the exact value of sine 2c, and then secondly show sine 2d has the same exact value. Well, sine 2c, first of all, look up the front. 2 sine c cos c, pick them out from the triangle, sine of c, opposite, 1 upon root 5, cos of c, adjacent, 2 upon root 5, multiply the numerators, 2 times 1 times 2 is 4, multiply the denominators, root 5 times root 5, out pops the 5 again. So the sine of 2c is 4 fifths. Now, cos 2d is meant to have the same answer as this. Well, what have we got here then? Cos 2d, there's three variants of that. I could have cos squared minus sine squared, 2 cos squared minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared. I think I'll go for the cos one. I think I'll go for 2 cos squared of d, single value, minus 1. So it's 2 times whatever the cos of d is, adjacent to d. Adjacent to d is 3, 3 over root 10. Adjacent over the hypotenuse, I'll be squaring that. Square a fraction means you square the numerator and square the denominator, square the top, 9. Square the bottom, root 10 times root 10, out pops the 10 again, minus 1. So that's going to give me 9 fifths. Instead of 18 tenths, I'll just go straight into 9 fifths. And 9 fifths take away 1 is the same as 9 fifths, so I'll put it down, take away 5 fifths, which is, once again, 4 fifths. That's a handy question because you know if you've got it correct. There you are.